Number 5. Tossing hats onto the ice. It is an automatic reaction these days whenever a home team is fortunate enough to have a player score three goals in one game. The ice surface is littered with all kinds of hats. A few teams, including the Flyers and Blue Jackets, collect the hats from historical hat tricks and put them on display in cases in the concourse of their arenas. Other teams offer the hats to the player that scored that hat trick. Some give a portion of the hats to charity and some put the hats in a lost and found. Number four, not touching the Stanley Cup. All athletes are superstitious about certain things, but there is something really magical about the effect that the Stanley Cup has on hockey players. The tradition is that you don't touch the cup unless you want it. In fact, some players actually take it to the extreme and don't even want to be in the same room with the cup, until they win it, of course. There isn't really any remote parallel to this type of thing in any other sport, at least it seems that way. The other trophies are handed out each year and they just don't have the same aura that seems to surround the Stanley Cup. Number three, waving towels. The towel power tradition is generally believed to have started in 1982 after Vancouver lost a game to Chicago. Their coach, who believed the loss had to have been the result of poor refereeing, draped a white towel over a hockey stick and raised it in an imitation surrender. His players shortly followed and by the following game, fans all over were waving white towels for Vancouver. Number 2. Throwing Rats in 1996, the Florida Panthers winger Scott Mellenby was getting ready for a game when a large rat came through the dressing room. Scott jabbed the rat with his hockey stick and killed it, then scored two goals in the game. After that, Florida Panthers fans started throwing rats, plastic, not live, on the ice whenever the team scored a big goal. During the team's run to the Stanley Cup Finals, the ice would be completely covered with rats every time Florida scored. Opposing goalies had to hide in the net to prevent themselves from getting hit with rats. The NHL banned the tradition after the 1996 season because games were being delayed for so long. Number 1. Throwing Octopi For nearly 50 years, hockey fans in Detroit have been throwing octopi onto the ice after a big win by the Red Wings. This started on April 15th of 1952 during the Red Wings Stanley Cup run. Two brothers, Pete and Jerry Cusimano, owned a fish shop in Detroit and threw an octopus on the ice during a game there. Each tentacle of the octopus was symbolic of a win in the playoffs. Back then, the NHL had just six teams and eight wins. Two best of seven series were needed to win the Stanley Cup. The largest octopus to have been thrown on the ice was a 50 pounder in 1996. The creature was proudly displayed on the hood of the Zamboni while the ice at the Joe Louis Arena was being cleaned between periods. That's a pretty monstrous creature if you ask me.